What is up y'all, this is Alex from Alex PC Tech again, back at you with another video. And on today's video, I hope you are well, I hope you are fine, and we are gonna be taking our, or doing our long-term review of the 6700 XT. This is the Quick 319 Edition from XFX. Now, we have already done an unboxing video and a first impressions video of this GPU right here, the 6700 XT. But even if I've, we have that video, I'll just put a link of that one in the description. We'll just have a quick rundown of the specs. The game clock is up to 242 when running typical gaming workloads. Boost clock up to 2581 for maximum frequency achievable depending on the workload. GDDR6 at 12 GB and 12 GB PS of clock speed. As per the build quality, the card has a 2.6 card slot profile with a width of 330 millimeters. This suits my Corsair 760T perfectly, but if you have or is planning to have at least an ITX build, then that could be a problem and you should take note of this. Now, the things that I like about this card are the straight through airflow, okay, this vent that is coming from the back to the front, and also the three fan configuration with 13 blades each, okay. As you can see, the middle fan is bigger than the two other fans that are at the either side. The solid backplate not only serves as a cover but also as a heat spreader as there are thermal pads in between the PCB and the back plate. As for the shroud, the shroud is called the ghost thermal design. I don't know, is it because that it doesn't have RGB or it has this floating design? So I'm not really sure about that, but it's kind of cool to be honest. And of course, the overall solid build quality of this card. I know that you will not be using this to play baseball, but for me, the build quality is top-notch and what's important in this case is that the back plate is solid so that you won't mind mounting this horizontally. So for the features that this card has, it supports AMD Smart Access Memory. As per the dual BIOS feature, this one is in primary and the other one is in secondary BIOS. This is the good thing. As you can see, the primary, the primary BIOS is the one that is nearer the power supply or the power cables. So this is a good thing in case both or one of the BIOS fails or gets corrupted. You will not be obliged to send this back to XFX for RMA because you have just to toggle the switch for the secondary BIOS. The 0dB fan technology where the fans don't spin depending on the temperature of course, you can tune this depending on your taste based on the temperature. Other features are PCIe 4.0 support, DisplayPort 1.4 with DSC, AMD Infinity Cache, DirectX 12 Ultimate, AMD Fidelity FX, and of course, ray tracing. Although the ray tracing technology of AMD is still at its baby, step, baby steps, beginning stages, it's really interesting that they are trying to at least compete with Nvidia in terms of features. As per the power design, this has a full digital PWM delivery that utilizes a 7 plus 2 phase design. The default BIOS can deliver up to 211 watts of power compared to the AMD's reference card that is only up to 186 watts. But with that said, with the extra watts of course comes extra heat. As for the thermal behavior, this has a 5-piece, 6mm plated copper heat pipes paired with aluminum heat sinks that has a surface area that covers almost the entire cord. We did a time spy test that is looping at around 30 minutes at 1440p under the graphics one. So this is a custom preset and we logged the results using hardware info. Now, we are running this at the basic room temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and we are in a closed case scenario and it is air cooled. Now in my opinion, this is the environment in which this graphics card will be mostly running. That's why we did that on our test bench. But if you have a different like an open air ten test bench or an open air setup, then your results may of course vary. 
Now, take note that these results are done without the smart access memory as we don't have that feature yet on our test bench, but support this channel so that we can do another test with the smart access memory with the latest Ryzen CPUs. Some other synthetic benchmarks are in the next slideshows, but mind you that these synthetic benchmarks are achieved with the overclock setting. As for the gaming benchmarks, mind you that we are also still running the OC settings for those results and we are testing with three AAA titles, namely Battlefield 5, Call of Duty Warzone, Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll chuck in some MOBA like Dota 2 so that you can have some reference in order for you to judge the card based on FPS.
bottom barracks has fallen. Stop! Bring it down! Monster enemy. kill! Yes! I'm not reading this. Killing spree. So that is it for the review of the XFX 6700 XT Quick Edition from XFX. Mind you, this is a very capable card. It's actually a beast at 1440p. It handles the ultra-wide monitor that we have right here quite very smoothly. And I, I like the temperature. I like the overclocking capability of this card. Probably if you have other features or other setups that are better than mine, like for example, if you can maximize the smart access memory that this card has, then that would be around, that will add more FPS and more performance to your GPU. Shoutouts to XFX Middle East for sending this one. Yes, they did send this card, but mind you, that will not change my opinion on the card. And my opinion and verdict on the card is that it is a solid 1440p gaming or enthusiast gaming card you can see the results you can see the temperatures and also i'm not gonna say it but the noise of this card is actually really good but in case you are really testing or doing benchmark with this card then you can really hear the cards but what's good about that is there are no cold wine whatsoever in this version or in this unit that i have also, one thing that you need to consider when choosing XFX is that they have a 3-year warranty and that is by default on all of their products. Like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And of course, stay safe, wash your hands, keep on doing the social protocols or the protocols to avoid the spread of COVID-19 disease and see you on the next video.